Hello, Information Services Librarian Megan here, and I'm back with another book review. Today I'm reviewing Misdemeanor by Eleanor Lippmann. So I've been a fan of Eleanor Lippmann for a long time. Uh, I like her humor, I like the happy endings of her book, uh, notwithstanding the fact that the characters do actually have to overcome some obstacles and, you know, learn life lessons. Um, this particular book is pretty entertaining. I have read at least one more serious book this month, but I opted to review the lighter book. Misdemeanor centers around an attorney named Jane Morgan. Jane is on house arrest for a crime, not crime, that she committed with a younger male associate at her law firm on the roof deck of the apartment building, <clears throat> read between the lines. The neighbor across the street saw it, was horrified, reported her to the police. Now Jane has to wear an ankle monitor for six months and stay in her building. She also gets fired from her law firm. Punishment doesn't really fit the crime. Jane then meets Perry, who's also in the apartment building living there and also is wearing an ankle monitor. Jane's twin sister, Jacqueline, encourages Jane to become Perry's personal chef three nights a week because Perry doesn't cook. He gets a lot of takeout. Jane also becomes a minor TikTok star with her cooking videos. In between all this, the woman who reported Jane from across the street dies unexpectedly. Jacqueline breaks up with her boyfriend Duncan. The children, the women across the street who died, she was a nanny. Those kids, they're from Poland, they're young adults, they show up. Jane makes friends with a dentist in the building. The dentist agrees to marry one of the Polish kids so they can stay in the US because their visas have expired. Lots of twists, lots of plot twists. It's pretty funny stuff. Basically entertaining, well-written, and you know, ends on a really happy note. It's funny, I was home with COVID last week, so I read this and it was kind of the perfect thing. Give it a try, thanks.